In this video, we're going to learn how to construct a histogram using MATLAB. You can see that I already have my live script started and I have my data imported. Um, if you don't know how to do this step, you may want to watch my video on summary statistics or the intro to MATLAB and it shows you how to set some of this stuff up. Um, so we're going to start off uh, by creating a histogram. And to create a histogram, we're going to use the histogram function. And when we use this function, we have to tell it the data set that we're using, which I named the data set drug. And then we have to tell it what variable or what column from the data set we're using. So that's why we do the period. And then we're going to use the high dose. And then the only other argument I'm going to put in is the face colors argument. And I also have to include with that argument um, what color I want. And this is the color that it's going to make the bars. For right now, I'm going to say none. And then I'm going to go ahead and run this code and you'll see the basic histogram and then we'll see how to add some layers to it and then make some other changes to it. So if I run this, um, you can see what the code is and you can see the, the basic histogram that it's generating. We're using face colors none, that way it leaves it transparent. It looks like this. You can see the default is it selects three bins or it makes the bin width 50 for each of those probably because that's what aligns with the data set. And then on the vertical scale, we have the frequency. On the horizontal scale, we have um, some sort of measurement right there. You can see that we're missing labels and titles and all kinds of other things. So one of the first things I'm going to show you how to do is put some of those labels on there. Um, when I hit enter, it's going to bring me down to a new script area. But when I do these things, it's going to go back up in that code block because it relates to the histogram. So the first thing we're going to do is an X label. And when we put a label in, we have to put that in either quotations or surround it in uh, apostrophes. I'm lazy, so I use the apostrophes because I don't want to do the shift and then the quotation. So the X label is going to be gene activity. The Y label is going to be the frequency. And then the title is going to be the histogram of gene activity for the high dose group. And so those are the, the labels that I'm going to create when I run the, uh, this line, these lines of code right here. It'll add those labels in to the histogram. And you can see the code moved up to the histogram because it all connects to that same um, function for the histogram. And you can see it added those various um, labels in on the x-axis, the y-axis, and also with the title. Now there's some things that we may want to do. This is the default histogram that we're looking at. And we may want to make some adjustments to the histogram. So for example, if we want to change the number of bins, we could simply after the drug.hydose and then the comma right there, we could type in, for example, five, and then go ahead and run this. And you'll see that it changes it from three bins to five bins. So it looks at that and it says, okay, we're, we're adjusting the number of bins that you want. We can see that you want five bins. And so we're going to generate a histogram with five bins and it automatically chooses the endpoints uh, for that. The other thing that we could do as well is we could change how wide we want each of the bins to be. So this is going to be the next thing that I showed you. Um, so the argument that we're going to use for this function is the bin width argument, and that has to be in the uh, apostrophes or the quotations, and then it will go comma, and then we have to tell it how, how wide we want each of those bin widths. So we're going to change that to 25. And then you'll see on the scale right now, it's actually probably not going to change the histogram at all. Maybe I'll change that to something different. It should change the bin width so it's 25. And actually, it did make a minor adjustment to that. And then also change the horizontal scale right there so we can see that a little bit better. So there's a number of different things that we can do in here in terms of modifying the histogram with different things. But hopefully this will give you enough information to construct a basic histogram using MATLAB.